Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Transport Fever 2 on the Metropolis map and uh, many of you have never asked Hey Colonel, uh, what's, your, uh, what's your process? How do, you, how do you get prepped for an episode of Transport Fever? Well I'm glad you didn't ask because uh, I'm going to tell you anyway. I do this. Yeah, I look at what I built last time around and I evaluate whether or not it's working uh, by which we want to look at is, are we getting overloaded? If so, probably want some more trucks on there. Yeah. Uh, but this is the one that's more important. Is uh, is how's the uh, how's the dockside getting on? And you go, yeah, oh, yeah, we're about there. Uh, I have. I don't. Oh no, because that's the other thing. This is the reason that I mentioned this in the first place. We go back over here. We go down here. Uh, the other thing that you do is uh, you fix things that you'd broken uh, and hope that nobody noticed. Yeah. <laughs> so I've set up a second truck line here to actually pick up the refined fuel and take it back again. Dedicated fuel trucks, you see. It, it never never quite threaded the needle to go dedicated fuel trucks. They're going to need dedicated flipping everything. Um, I also fixed the, uh, the station so that uh, trains can... If we up the tempo, you'll see. Uh, so that trains can now use multiple platforms because previously it was queuing for just one so I fixed that as well um, added a couple more ships onto the fuel line uh, but I do know what I'm doing today I'm just gonna just gonna wait and show you a train using the other line just because I'm here and you're here and and it seems pertinent it's taking a very long time to get around the outside despite the fact that I'm on warp speed come on in where, do, where are you gone? Where are you gone? You should not be waiting at a Chuffin Junction. You're not. Well, where's it gone then? Was I talking about one that was going the other way? I think that's highly plausible. Ah, oh, well, stuff it. Let's just get on with the show. Right then, get on with the show. Uh, today's show is a straightforward one. It's uh, it's bridge rebuilding. I know you go, oh, great. Yeah, we haven't had enough of that lately. Uh, no, I'm going to put the uh, the overlarge tanker, uh, the overlarge freight ship, back on the line here. And I've, uh, I've reinstalled the old uh, animated bridges mod. Uh, so it's going to be a combination of fit the bridges, hopefully, should be pretty easy, and uh, and then measure the timing. I don't think I've got any speed rails in. Oh no, speed rails are essential. Speed rails are essential. I could put 75, no, that's the best you've got. Okay, I'm gonna need my speed rails mod back in, where, where you've got speed limits on your on your rail head. Um, that's, that's pretty important if you're gonna work with animated bridges, otherwise you'll find your trains go across it while the bridge is elevated, which is really, really not what you want. New York now accepts machines, well, that's, that's exciting for them. Um, good. Right, so here's going to be... This is our test candidate here, uh, I guess, unless somebody else is ahead. No, it's an oil ship. Oh, that's no flaming use to anybody. Why don't you make the transition now, and uh, and then you'll uh, you'll have a fighting chance of it being in the right place at the right time. Um, yeah, okay, fine, good. So, ship freight, yes. At the moment, we've got four. Four on ship freight, which is ruddy marvellous. Uh, we'll select all of them. Yeah, and uh, and we'll replace them up. Now, here we go. So, what we're using right now, I think we're using a Viola, uh, which is 240 in four compartments. The container ship Rostock does 1,252 in four compartments, which is a lot uh, by comparison. I think that we're about to throw away any... Look at this. Look, very profitable little number we've got going on here. It's Magnifico. Magnif Magnifico is what it is. Uh, but no, we're going to uh, we're going to do that. So let's get that replacement in. Do you really want four? I think three is probably going to be more than enough. Yeah, make it happen. All right, there we go. Uh, and you, yeah, wait, this, that, this, you can get sold. Yep. Yeah, I don't care how much stuff you were already carrying. You can go and get sold. And that way, the uh, the ships that we're going to be monkeying with should be readily visible because they'll be chuffing enormous. Here's one, it's chuffing enormous, it's readily visible. And that's all good. Now, have we got one in the target zone at the moment? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, you aren't one either. No, 
And you were one. And had I stopped talking a moment ago. Oh, look at that. Hold on a moment. I would, that's my screenshot right there. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this for business. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, that's, that's the business there. Yeah, train. Yeah, bridge. Yeah, ship. That's everything you need to know about this episode. And it's a drag race, too. But I, I suspect the train's going to win that. Let's ease it back down to something a little more sedate and then get on with it. Now, this should just work. But it, it a lot... I, actually, I don't need uh, a big ship to come through here to test this out. But uh, it would have been nice if we had one. Anyway, never mind. And... Pause her on up there. Step one, make sure you've actually got the mod thing installed. Which goes... It lives under depots, I think. There we go. Escalating bridges. Right, 96 meter. Yeah. Speed limit. Oh, ah, what speed limit should we put on there? I don't know. Um, yeah, height in meters. Is that when it's not lifted or when it is lifted? I imagine that's when it is lifted. You know what we could do? Uh, if we just stick one right there. Right, we'll spend the money because I've got all the money in the world, right? I don't want to use this one. Okay, that's that's height above deck, right? Let's uh, let's just check to make sure that I'm I'm correct in that assumption. Does it actually it actually works as a depot as well? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, oh, it's a terrible terrible depot, but uh, it's it's interesting anyway. Uh, and then if we go to height twenty meters, yeah, that's height above deck. Right, cool, thank you. There's a sci-fi bridge in testing. Um, okay. Presumably the track just disappears. Well, I'm not bothered about that. That's... Oh. Yeah. Or... That's the same thing. Is it? This is double tracked. Oh, okay. Cable thrust. I don't like a cable thrust when it's... Uh, what it, What does that do? I don't know. Let's uh, place it and find out. All right. Uh, stick this about here. All right. Find out. Well, okay. It's... It's clearly already done the thrusting in question, because uh, there's a gap there now. If we up the tempo and wait for this to go through, we'll see what sort of thrustage we get when this goes back. Thrust! Come on! No, 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 no. If you recall, what it does is it stays up until a train approaches. Oh, of course. Yes. That will work, though. It will work. I quite like that. Yeah, you might want the pillars a little further apart if you can. Um, yeah, we we change the speed limit to 80. Yeah, because it, it, well, this is going in here, you see? So uh, so that's that's fairly straightforward. All right, get rid of that. All right, okay, right. Should we use that? What else have we got? Uh, swing bridge. Oh, that could be that could be a lot of fun. Like, that's, there's, there it is, swung. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, that's... Ew. I want to see it animating, but I can't until I put it on a on a live track. Now I've got no I've got no problem with testing on live. What are you? You are an uh, a one track. Well, we want two track. What are you doing? You are lifting. You are a lifting bridge. Oh yeah, that's that's a ticket. Right here is our first candidate. Uh, right, get rid of this. Yes, I know I've broken it. It's okay. I'll unbreak it in a moment. Uh, Jolly Green is not going to be suited to this endeavour though. But we're going to want something. Uh, Something red to go with uh, to go with what we're making here. Uh, quick look at the route. Route goes through there. Okay. Right. Uh, so if we uh, go back to this, so you're going to want your lifting bridge to do its to do its behaviour about there. Okay. Is there anything else? Like you know, can I anything? No, nope, you can't. All right. So now we want to zoom in a bit and, uh, and make sure that we're at about the same height as uh, as this cowboy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is going to be this is going to be awkward. Can you get a slightly different angle across here? What we'd want is something like that. Yeah, check the line. Yeah, it's so about yeah, yeah yeah anywhere along there. This is going to, there's going to be a lot of that's that's about the right place. Okay, yeah you can probably make that work. All right, go on then. Make it a little bit taller. I think you're just a little below the uh, the target there. And again, eyeballing all of this, you know, and uh, and therefore, you know, there's there is, you know, all of that, you know, 
Um, there's there's every likelihood that I'm I'm off by a bit. Right, let's try that. All right, check this. Right through the middle. I think the I think Johnny Big Container is going to be a bit large for that, but we'll we'll wait and see. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah. Okay, take all of this back again. And you know what? I, I desperately need to be able to. Uh, no, you're going to have to go all the way back to about there. I think if you're going to make this a clean a clean line. Which, I mean, you know, we do want a clean line. Clean lines are not optional. Much depends on the speed of the animation. Uh, so if the, if the animation speed is, uh, is quick, then we can maintain high speed. If the animation speed is slow, then we cannot. So if we go for... We'll make them drop to 75 miles per hour, which I suspect is going to be too fast. But we'll, we'll see how we go. There you go. It's inherited the right kind of girderage. And that's that's good to see. That's heartening. Okay, right. We've got a neat curve around there. Yeah. Right, and we're on to there. Uh, you did have signals there before. Whoa, hey, oh, ah. Oh, hello, everybody. Oh, crikey. This, uh... Oh, we've got a, we've got a, a maritime disaster coming up. Oh, oh, crumbs. Oh, this poor viola. It's about to get monstered. Oh, it's being monstered. Oh, dear. Oh, it's being consumed alive uh, by this Merskline battle tankard. Yeah, battle tankard. Fits through, though, doesn't it? It really does. That's fabulous. How would you get it to avoid doing that? You would use distinct... You'd have to make the shipping lines completely distinct from one another because now it's like something out of James Bond. We've just eaten another ship. In fact, I think that's the plot of an entire movie, US Spaceships, though. That's the, uh, that's the Moonraker plot. Uh, is it Moonraker? Yeah, pretty sure it is. I'm sure it's like, like not Diamonds R4 ever or some such. Pretty sure it's Moonraker. Well, the, the comments will let you know. Oh, I know. Bond is, is definitely something within their nerdy wheelhouse. Uh, right. We're talking about mainstream Hollywood media. Your mainstream Hollywood media. Oh, how I wish I were paid like mainstream Hollywood media. Uh, right. Do that. That's okay. We're, I mean, we're knocking out a restaurant, but who gives the monkeys? Uh, yeah. Is, does that look good to you? Because I'll be honest, it doesn't look good to me. No, you've got to clear back more of this. Right, okay, try it again and see if it's uh, a bit neater. Yeah, I love how you're just leaving the game running all this time. You've got a passenger train out there somewhere that's just going like, <laughs> I used to have a purpose. And you go, well, you haven't got anyone anymore. Oh, I'm destroying everything. Please don't crash. Thanks. Okay, right. Where's the cancel that button? Thank you. You're going to have to do it manually, son, all right? Just, you can't crow fly it because it's trying to do clever stuff. Go to about there. Yeah, that looks all right. Does that look all right? Not, yeah. Does it? Yes. Okay. Right, and now go straight through and voila. Yes. Okay, all right. Is it yes? Yeah, it is. I say it's yes and therefore uh, it is. Oh, ah, uh, ship. <laughs> Don't get too excited about that. There's plenty of those uh, now. You've you've built quite a few of them. Right, and it will slip quite nicely down there. You're going to want a retaining wall in there if you're going to pay any attention to anything. And also, no, no, keep the keep the speed restricted track on there as well because that will possibly be uh, beneficial. Uh, we did have signals going on, so let's do that. Uh, everything's happy again with regard to. Uh, the root. I'm quite happy with this, you know. We've got obviously we're going to use a different one at the other side. Right, here we go. Here's the test. Bridge down. Bridge down. Bridge down. Faster. 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 Disaster. Oh no. <sighs> you can't. No. I mean, look. That's. I mean, that's lovely. That's absolutely lovely. But you're going to need to speed restrict more. Okay, all right, fine. Right, one moment. Right, I've got the appropriate mod, I think. Um, and so now it's just a question of wait for a... There we, here we go. Right, stop there. Now, if I restrict your speed, let's start... These are in kilometres per hour, so that's, you know, something to be aware of. 
Uh, if we do 60 kilometer hour an hour approach there, the question becomes, will the bridges be... Oh no, the bridges are confused. Bridges are confused. But it's close. Supplemental testing required. Not while it's still bounce. The bounce, whoever made this mod... The little, the little bounce at the end there, that's, that's a delight. Uh, so I think 60 was a little too close. I think we go with 50. Uh, and we'll, uh, we'll do just that out to about there. Give it plenty of time for the train to pass. Plenty of time. That's, that'll, that'll be way... That'll be plenty of plenty of time. But uh, if we up the tempo... Wait, oh no, here comes one now. Right. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Down, 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 down. Little bounce. Train goes over while it's still bouncing. I think we're going to have to do 40 on the second approach track. But uh, let's just do one more test. The next one will be along momentarily because it's coming out to Dark Star. Uh, we'll slow. Oh, no, there's one now. I'll... Well, we're waiting for the one coming out of Dark Star. It's the same, it's the same solution either way. Uh, and that's going to be two sections of track restricted in speed. So, uh, so here we go. Right. How exciting. Yeah, I know. It's a delight. It, it, in fact, I take a great deal of satisfaction from doing rubbish like this, uh, where you're actually paying a little bit of attention just to try and make it good. Just to try and make it good. And little bounce. No, you want to you drop the second segment of track by... Another chunk there. Right. Yeah. Actually, you don't need to do both sides. No, the the the, the exit sides you can go whatever speed you're flipping well like. Uh, so uh, let's let's up the tempo on that. Uh, let's up the tempo on this. Yeah, you could. Uh, we'll bump that back up to ninety. But this is going to need to be a forty, and then everything should be righteous. Uh, right there. That needs to be a forty. I've clicked it enough times. It should be good. Was there another train in the station there? Yes, there was. Because you bunched all the trains up when you deleted the track. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, so here comes our... What I hope is going to be the, the final test that we need. In fact, should we do this from the first pers person perspective? I think we will. Okay, we've got some dingy track that you should probably modernise this track again. Uh, just for consistency's sake. Uh, nice view of the bridge. Because, yeah. of course, in reality, uh, the bridge would be down until it needs to go up. Well, I bet there's some bridges in the world where the, it goes it goes uh, up until it no needs to go down. I think it depends on the volume of, uh, of traffic that's going to require it. Here we go. Yeah. And bouncing stopped. Rolling across. Woohoo! Yeah! How nice is that? I think that's I think that's delightful. Alright, good. Right, that's number one done. Yeah, we can we can take that as a success. That's fantastic. Yeah. Why well, I didn't think of this for myself, you know. I couldn't tell you. Um did I mention it? I don't think I did, did I? I don't think I said, oh no, I don't I know. I went straight for let's make the bridges too tall. Um but, uh, okay, right, here comes the other one. Now this, I mean, it feels like it's more challenging because it's higher up, but actually, in reality, it's, it just isn't. Uh, right, check on the line. There is your, uh, there are the two pillars we need to traverse. Now, it is going through at, a, at an angle. Yeah. Having it, uh, having it perpendicular is helpful, but I really quite like the loop that we've got here up until this junction, which needs to be refined. Um, all right. Well, look. Let's let's get it in and then see how we feel about it when there's some tra uh, some ships going through. All right. Well, let, there's a ship. Let's pause, and then then it's sat there waiting for us and going. Ahem, I appear to be a test monkey. And you go. Yes, you are. Uh, swing bridge. No. You sure? Yeah. Uh, right. You've got this. Okay. What does this one do? Uh, lift. Okay. Right. Uh, I've done that before. If there's if there's variety to be had, I'm I'm all there. I'm there. I'm for it. Uh, right. We've done oh, this one track. That's this one which we have used. That's what we used in the last series. I think it's got to be 
I think it's got to be this, hasn't it? I think that's that's just a fact. That's a stone cold got to be done. Right. The good news is we're going to be able to get a good measure on this quite quickly. Uh, right. Well, if you pillar there, you've got loads of loads of space. Right. So let's get the alignment correct, which is, is that about right. Is that, about, is that better? No, 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 no. I think you were right the first time. Right. And if you're going to place just outside that pillar, then you're going to want to come down by a couple of meters, aren't you? Yeah. Just outside that. Keep coming. 12. No. 12 is too low. Okay, well, let's go 14. 14 is too high. What? Why can't you do either or? I think it's because there might, it might be because there's track already there and it refuses to place on top of existing track. Well, that doesn't help me. Well, I'm just, I'm just spitting facts. Also, this is something you might want to consider. When this is elevated, when this is lifted, it might not be high enough. Ooh. Yeah, you might need to use the swing bridge. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. Unless I run per perpendicular, I don't think I'm going to get the swing bridge to be properly out of the way. I mean, using speed restriction it means that I can get it to sit at the right point at the right time. But, uh, okay, well, here we go. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's commit to it. Uh, we'll, I mean, we're obviously, we're going to commit to it, right. Give me that. I mean, also, this is more or less in keeping with the track that already exists. No, you see, look, it's it's messing with me now. There. Right. So if you snap it onto the end of the track, I think you need your track a little bit further along. I think you'll be all right. Uh, put it back there. All right. Cost 42 quid. <laughs> you spoil me. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's lifted enough. Ha. Huh. Okay, check the pathing. Pathing's good. Pathing is good. All right. Well, if that's high enough, then it's high enough. But we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to try that out. Uh, now, I'm assuming that uh, approach speed for one, given it's all made by the same mod maker, I reckon approach speed is going to be about right. The timing on the the animation is going to be about the same, no matter which animation style you go with. So let's go with that there and give it enough run that's going to be enough okay right well let's let's see if it works obviously this first one's not going to be a problem because it moves uh, i mean this first ship is quite small so you know the, it, this this won't cause us any kind of an issue in the slightest yeah this is going to sail underneath and go personally lads i think it's overkill but thanks oh no oh, cheers for that yeah. Okay, now we want a train. Have we got anything nearby? Yep, here comes one now. Ah, good. This might all be completely pointless, of course, because... Uh, uh, no, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. Don't press wrong buttons. I pressed two for speed. That's, that's only something that happens in other games. Right, here we go. Uh, no, now you've pressed one. That's, it's tap to change the speed. Right, we are now speed restricted. We should see the bridge start to go down. Now, the, the thing about these is they are dumb, and therefore if there is a ship trying to go underneath while your train is on approach, the ship's going to continue to try and go underneath and therefore go through it. And the bridge is dropping and clunk. Perfect. Better than perfect. Beautiful. It's also going... <clears throat> I'm made of jolly green. They kind of go, oh, but I've got my girders set up the way I like them. But there are, there is a green variant of those girders, you know. Choo choo! Are you not? Do you know there's a thing you can adjust to make your seat a little bit taller, unless you're six, which is the other. It's just some six-year-old having Jack and Train, and he's going, I'm a train driver now. And you go, yeah, yeah, I bet you are. Actually, you know what? This train moving slowly across the girders is very nice. It's going to pick up speed here any moment as it comes out of the speed restricted part, or rather the tail end of it does. I really like that. Oh, but what you need to check for is does the bridge raise back up again while the tail is still, uh, is still in situ? Now, I don't think it does, but I don't know that it doesn't. New New York now accepts whatever... 
Here we go. We've got a, depart a departure here. All right. Are you actually carrying anything worthy of note? Uh, 26 coal. Well, that's... We don't use coal at the other end. You're just carrying this for the sake of carrying it. Oh, I'm watching the wrong train. Oh, okay. Let's watch this train. But just give me the train. What are you carrying? Con mats, food. Oh, it's working. Um, all right. Slow it down. All right. There you go. Let's watch it from the alternate perspective. And that's all we're doing today. This is all we're doing. It's, all we're doing. it's worth it, though, isn't it? Isn't it worth it? Yeah, I think it's worth it. And drop it on down. Boop. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. And what we're looking for is it not lifting back up while we've got the tail end uh, wagon still in situ. Now, this isn't a very long freight train, as freight trains go. But even so, right, well, any time soon would be where we see that happen. Does it recognise there is still train on the bridge? We'll know if that's got a sensor of some description to do that, if depending on when it lifts. So it should start... There you go. Yeah, it was waiting for the end of the train. Perfect! Oh, goody, 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 goody. And, as if by magic, Johnny Big Pants has arrived with his big pants. And he's got 200 wood, 700 food, 46 of the machine tool, tools, tools, and then uh, 34 food food. Right. Yeah. Why don't you set your oil delivery line as a separate platform? Yep, okay, I'll do that. Uh, give me a moment. Why don't you make this truck stop about eight times the size? It has got nothing like enough cargo storage there. No, it really doesn't, does it? Yeah, and I know we're sticking quite a lot onto the uh, onto the train, but we are sticking some into uh, into local processing. Yeah. Okay. All right. A flipping it. It made it made bank there as well. It's going to make some bank on the way back too. Hey, that's good. Oh, super. Right, okay, now, we want to... Uh, let's configure this. Let's put another large dock in there. Right. Yeah, and then uh, terminals. Ship oil can go into number two. Terminal two, please. There you go. Now, I think that will probably, probably give us just a smidge more storage, uh, which, will be, which will be absolutely dandy. Yeah. Yeah, so the lumber all went straight to the lumber mill. <laughs> Which it's currently going, flipping it, can't keep up with this. Uh, and that's fine. Now, the question is, is this ship too tall to get under the bridge while the bridge is lifted? We're going to want to make sure that we've frozen any trains uh, to ensure that the bridge doesn't drop. All right, up the tempo. Here we go. I hope it works. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I wouldn't, won't cry into my beer if... Uh, if it's too tall, it's just I quite like this this lifter. Yeah, All right. Are you clipping the side? No, no. You've just handbrake turn around the side there, and it comes the. Oh yeah. Oh, it fits. Yes. <laughs> Only just, which means this is a perfectly well engineered bridge, um, and uh, and therefore the, the the shipping in this area is going to be somewhat dependent on tides. Uh, otherwise, there there may be a crisis or six. Right? How much were you actually carrying? Not enough to turn a profit. Right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, manage the line, and at no, that's not going to help you. Uh, I was going to put a wait till on there. Yeah. Yeah, wait till is not going to work. Even if you put a minimum wait of thirty seconds, you're never going to fill any one of these. So why do, you're just going to have to do it the old school way. Okay, all right, here we go. Old school way, and get around the corner, and stop. All right, yeah, yeah. Bit of manual spacing, you see. Are you stopping or what? It says you're stopping, but uh, looking at you, oh no, no, you are just now coasting in a straight line. I've I've lost where it is on the map. It's on the map. Yeah. What are you looking at here? I've a very, very little idea. There we go. We've got the stop on. All right. Now, look for number three, which should show up from space. Uh, just like the uh, Great Wall of China doesn't. Yeah. Okay. We're stopped. The oil tankers can come and go as they please. There's enough oil in, in circulation to make that worthwhile. 
but uh, these these big lads because they hoik so much stuff. Right, we've got one coming in now. Yeah, the second one has just rounded the cape here. Yeah, that's not bad distribution spacing wise, but it's not brilliant. No, no, no. Actually, that's pretty good. Erie now accepts tools. Well, good for them. Okay, yeah, and you're going to do the thing. Where when are we going to cut it loose? Uh, let's cut it loose. Ooh, I don't. I, I don't know why I'm struggling to navigate from up here. It just goes up along the coastline there and through here. Well, I know that. Well, just stop mucking about then. So how about when it hits about there? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, about there. That's almost a, a kind of a third split in between each one of them thereby potentially maximizing the amount they're carrying now the ideal i think with the the capacity that these guys have got probably only two ships required but i want three so shut up and also i think that if they uh, if they manage to to haul enough stuff then they can make a profit off just being the, the that many what are you carrying 313 lumber nice 133 foodstuffs 33 bricks yeah not so much on the tools and the machines it's only got four bunkers. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that could be tricky to deal with. Yeah, 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 maybe. Right, okay, we're in position. You can get uncorked. There you go. Off your trundle. Have fun! You're going to Gotham City Port. You're flipping not. No, you're you're going you're going up the other one. No 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 no. You see that's what no, you no, you're going the wrong No. Got no, you're I don't want you going there. Why, why are you giving me the flipping... Yeah, ship freight, yes. I, I know that. Well, okay, but doing a lap of this little island here was definitely not what I had in mind. Oh, well. Yes, I mean, I could, I could fiddle with that some more, but I'm not going to. Right, uh, let's have a look at the uh, the scores on the doors. Let me leave, leave you with something exciting to look at while I do that even though the entire screen is going to be covered with a spreadsheet. Uh, right, spreadsheet time. Let's see how this, uh, all these new routes are actually paying off. And it's the Alterville routes, which are at the top, that we're, that we're looking for, which is helpful. Uh, Alterville 3 is making some money. It's more about how much are you lads carrying? And the answer is pretty much nothing. Now, the amount that they're costing me is not uh, it's not horrendous. Uh, I can I can easily swallow that. I th I don't even think that between them they're they're costing me a million a year. So so that's fine. Uh, but if we look at the the bad news, the Fantasy City clock line is costing quite a lot. Oh no, it's gone again. It's down here now though. Oh look, it's only costing you seventy six grand. Shut up. That's fine. Um, all right, big ships costing me six. Twin Peaks now six machines. Wow, that's super. And, uh, and the freight distribution is costing me two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, how do we feel about that? Um, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Because I think these will, these will build up. But I need this to be profitable so that I can run more trains on there so that I get the, uh, the visual desired, uh, visually desired, many trains waiting in the station and making those trains longer. Well, how are you going to fix that? That's a good question. Right. Should we make this truck stop bigger? Well, it needs more termini, if nothing else. Right. So, uh, how are you going to do that? Because you can't bulldoze it while there's trucks in there. And you need it to inherit so that everything just keeps working. Yeah. All right. Well, let's do let's do that. Uh, let's take the weight till falls off for the moment. Uh, right. All right, hang on. Might not need to. Right, yeah, go, 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 go. And you as well. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, team. All right. Paws are on up. Bulldozer on out. Good. Yeah, yeah, I know. I threw some freight away there, but we're, we're, trying, we're trying for something that is, is slightly more suited to the purpose. I think we go with the large truck stop. I think the large truck stop may be too large. 
Uh, if it fits in there, would be all right. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Does it actually have any freight storage? Well, let's put it in and find out. All right, there we go. We've got a ship arriving now. There you go. Yeah, it does. It has storage. It doesn't have enough storage. Uh, it's, only two. it's only trying to store 200. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work, is it? No, oh, you could bump some of these. That's not the point with throwing fuel away. No. You can't be topped off at 200. That's ridiculous. I need a side storage effigy. Look at this, we're just throwing it away. I just, oh, it's so painful. So, so painful. I'm in, I'm in so much pain as a result of this. Um, yeah, are you? Well, maybe a little bit. Why does it say out of 24? Because it can only handle 24 freight. Right, okay, you are not the one. Right, uh, fire up the bulldozer and blow it up. Oh, hold on, check, just check configure. Nothing. All right, okay, fine, blow it up. Okay, well, test number one was a washout. Let's try test number two. If I think we're going to go with large uh, and see what sort of capacity of, uh, of storage we get from that. Okay, well, I mean, look, that's inheriting beautifully. It's, it's snugly sat in there. That will probably do. Right, terminals. 72. 72's not going to flipping cut it either. All right, blow it up. All right, next. Well, let's go with the default. I think we can go shopping for a better one. If we just put a default one in there. Okay, and then terminals. 40. Do I need to say it? No, I do not need to say it. What if you make the... Uh, do some configurating. Yeah. All right, give me that. And... I mean, obviously, none of this was designed with with whacking great roots kind of set up. All right, does that actually shift anything? 60. Each one of those is worth 20. But I'm going to need it to be like 10, 15 long. So make it 10, 15 long. You're going to need to change the approach a little bit. Uh, but uh, get to work. All right, okay. Yeah, you're going to want to go searching for something that will probably be titled um, Truck Stop Super Storage special edition unlimited freight at your truck stop exclamation mark cool great do you know that that exists no it possibly doesn't but i mean that's that's what you're looking for i want a medium country road please i might i could go small country road but i think a medium will look better in this case that doesn't look better no no you want a you want a nicer curve there like that yeah i keep it on the flat there you go. Right, now, hook it. Tis hooked, me lud. Oh, thank you. Right, it's good. Now, configurate that thing. Configurating. Now, you don't need both of them to be massive. One of them, I think, needs to be a good... No, you do need them both to be massive, because you could have an awful lot of foodstuffs come in at some point. Okay. Yeah, make it as long as you can, and potentially even, uh, even bulldoze the road in order to make... Oh, no, no, there you go. It's max length. Fine. Good. What are we talking about now? 220. Well, it's better, but it's not brilliant. Uh, right. Uh, refine and refining. We'll bump those over onto two. There you go. Refined and refining. Yep. Over onto two. Okay. Is it ugly? Yes. Yes, senorita. It really, really is. But uh, we shouldn't be hemorrhaging quite as much viable product as, uh, as we were doing up until mere moments ago. Uh, so there we go. Oh, there we go. There's some fuel, look. Yep. Quite a lot of it, too. That's what they need to add in the new game. In the new game, they need an additional stop. Uh, an additional piece of functionality. An additional building, effectively. Uh, for all manner of... In fact, all manner of transportation. Everything needs another... Um, uh, another building and that building should be warehousing in fact just make it a separate building you need a warehouse construction uh, and you, it connects up to anything so it sits in catchment just like everything else and it can store as much as that individual warehouse is capable of storing and you can have small ones you can have mediums you can have open yards uh, that hemorrhage it a little bit you can have closed ones that hemorrhage everything that goes up, uh, beyond its max capacity. 
make it look good you're going to need the different eras employing make it so that's it i've solved it that's your problem that's that's the solution i've been colonel failure adios uh yeah good just made 10 million from that run that's pretty solid that is pretty solid okay good right one one more quick look around the place at what else isn't working uh well there's myriad things are not working yes well, okay, so what are you going to do about that? Well, uh, what can you do about it? Right, we've got, uh, here's the freight line. A small number of bricks, a small number of tools. Yes, there's 600 oil waiting to be picked up. I'm already running like eight tankers on there. It should be fine. Yeah. Interestingly, we don't appear to be delivering to these plastics factories. Now, that's going to turn into goods. It should be receiving some, and yet it's not. Oh no, it needs plastic, and it needs uh, steel. What trucks are you running on here? Is it, a, is it a ubiquity truck? Yes, it is. Okay, so where's the steel going? I'm not seeing any steel here. Now, we're definitely hooked up to a steel. There's a steel waiting! <sighs> yeah. All right, slap some more truck on that. You've got, we've got a lot already. Well, I'll put a dedicated. Uh, no, 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 wrong button. You want to uh, man configure the vehicles. Right. Uh, so uh, if we go to, what are you, what are you playing at? Um, don't know. All right, grab this. Yeah, buy a vehicle. Yeah, go to cargo. Right. Go to the uh, variants. Right, and do steel. All right, buy one. Good. That was Industoria Central, I think. That was the name of the stop, not the route. Okay, well, let's go find the name of the route. Uh, Industoria Central. Oh, there's a there's a freaky coincidence. All right, slap that on there. Yes, Industoria Central. Cool. Right, so that will get the iron, uh, the the steel. Beg your pardon, shipping. You could probably bring that out this side. Have we got in? Uh, you've got Central 3 over here. Uh, check the terminals on this. Yeah. So, this little truck's going to be shuffle it from one side to the other, potentially. Uh, and then you're going to want to make sure that whatever you're hoiking out here is bringing steel and plastic. So, at the moment, the plastic's going to have to go from here back to there and then back to here. That's that's not going to work, is it? Just stick in a little something or other. Because you really should be producing goods. Yeah, how much fuel have we got waiting? Negligible. Okay, how many trucks have we got on this line? Uh, hold, uh, hold everything. Two. Yeah. I want, I want goods. I want goods going. I've got consumers waiting. Yes. We are taking steel over here potentially as well. Ah, that's why we're not getting machines. And to tools, we're not making enough steel. There's a lot of steel waiting. Uh, they're still waiting here. Yeah. Any of these being underserved? This one. Ah, right. Okay, Industoria North. And the, you've got two trucks that can handle 25. No. Manage that vehicle. Right, okay. Pop this. Yeah. Buy them again. And again. And again. Yeah. Yeah, no, switch straight to overkill on that one. And meanwhile, over here, yep, that one's busy too. You've got uh, you got Peterbilt's on this one. All right, manage your vehicle. Uh, yeah, yeah, all of them, please. Buy them again. Okay, right. How about this one? How's this looking? Uh, it's a little busy, but uh, but it could it could be fine. Now uh, give me some more. Yeah, anytime you're overloaded. I'm not running enough trucks, so run more trucks. Should be that simple. With it, you know, you were saying you didn't want too many trucks running in and out of that main depot. Yeah. Well, that's that's dead now, isn't it? That as a, as a philosophy, you've you've rather killed it. Ah well, but uh, never mind. Ah well, that's what's happened. Right. Let's tempo up while we've got uh, the truck parade departing the uh, departing the area. Okay. Right. Yeah, let's, I mean, I just want to see if this is going to uh, if this is going to work at all. I love that they're using all the lanes. That's really nice. But we've got to get stuff rolling through here. Now, these 
freight depots. You might go, oh, they work their way around in ever such an inconvenient fashion. You kind of go, yeah, it doesn't really matter. They're always going to work their way around in some fashion. It comes down to how much extra distance you're adding to their route in order for them to make a pickup. You are picking stuff up, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. I mean, you could switch these out for individual... Uh, individual trucks of, of value. See, he's just picked up coal. You could switch that out for a coal truck. Interesting. Industoria Central, there's 130 coal waiting. So yeah, you could switch it out for a coal truck. Yeah, could. In fact, I think I might. Alright, you. You're on Industoria Central. You are picking up. But it brought wood, you see. And therefore, you're only getting one-way service from it. Okay, that's less good. Yeah. Okay, it's tempting, but I think we'll leave it as is for the moment. But the good news is, the spice is flowing. And it's flowing really rather nicely. Yeah. Yeah, it really is flowing really rather nicely. I love that they're using all the lanes. That's really nice. Yeah, I'm quite taken with this double depot business as well. Historically, I would have used uh, one of the depot mods that allow you to have like 56 terminuses, platforms, whatever, um, and uh, and just sort of hoped it worked. But uh, but now, no, 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 this is this is flowing through even better than that. Yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I like it too. Right, okay, well, one more one more area to turn my attention to, so we'll, we'll zip out of there, because that's all working. Uh, and is, is it working perfectly? No, of course it's not working perfectly, but it's working. Uh, and that's the start. Well, you're lost again, aren't you? I'm pretending not to be, but I think that that illusion is rather, rather dead in the water. Right, let's get down here. Here's the station. Loads of freight at the station. Oh, boy. Yeah. This end, not a flaming problem. Not one in sight. What have we got going on here? Uh, have we got a good distribution of services out of terminals? Yes, but you should probably make those a bit longer. Yeah, okay. Also, do you know how these trains have only got two hoppers on them? Yeah, you're probably going to want to tweak that, aren't you? I'm going to want to tweak that. All right, okay. So, uh, what are we doing here? Edit. Uh, yeah. Right, so cargo. That's your next thing to do, is go get a, a Naffy's equivalent uh, that will uh, that will take grains and stuff as well, so that you've got containers on there, because that's going to look much nicer. Right, let's go for the good gondolas. They take how many each? 18. All right, uh, let's add 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, modify that for 10 million quid. Thank you. Right. Oh, do the same on this one. In fact, no, don't do the same on that one. Delete that. This one, sell it. Yeah. Right. Get this. Clone it twice. We're going up to three. I know it's costing me a lot of money, but uh, let's get this stuff moving because shifting this stuff along is going to make my ships more profitable. And that's not a bad thing. We just need to get more coming down here. Which means more trains filling, f filling faster. Yeah. Okay. Right. There you go. That's that's it done for today. We're we're finished. We're out of here. Uh, I think we've achieved. I've achieved. I think we've achieved a pleasing amount of progress. And given that I'm the one that decrees whether we've achieved a pleasing amount of progress, I feel safe in doing that. In the next episode, part of me says spend the episode making this look good right it's not something you tend to do because you think it's boring to watch and i watched a few and it is boring um yeah no let's let's do that as it's something different we're going to tart up this island and make it look good look as good as possible which means i'm going shopping for mods uh and uh, and then we'll make it work and make it happen i've been colonel failure i hope you found this engaging uh doing a little bit of uh, a little bit of tidy up a little bit of clean up here is uh you know it's a bit of a break from the norm but what is normal huh and who are we to judge there you go i'll leave you with that thought and possibly several others that's working now yeah pretty hideous though ah but i'm about to tart it up with mods oh, okay yeah right good i'll catch up with you soon thanks very much for watching here's a train
Uh, it's moving rather faster than we need it to. But here it is anyway. Uh, Pleasantville now accepts goods. Well, that's, that's good for them. It's no good if I can't any manufacture any of the flaming things. Is it? No. Choo-choo! With a six-year-old driving it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheerio.